So I came over to Norma's house that night, and she got in the car, and I said, guess what, we're not going to ballet. And she said, uh, where are we going? And I said, oh, we're going to go see uh, Andy Williams. And what would you say? River wider than a mile. <laughs> and then she kept going, Barbara, I can't believe it, I can't believe it. The word compare means friend or equal. And it just takes a person who volunteers to spend an hour or more a week in a one-on-one -on -one friendship with an adult or a child who's struggling with a mental illness or an emotional difficulty. And the, the power that's released when people form those friendships is just a, a remarkable thing. And when you hear the stories, when you hear the, the relationship stories, that Jenny and I have, it keeps growing. And I feel that I'm there for her to make her feel confident in herself. I feel that we have almost a love between us because we get so excited when we see each other. We went shopping so she could have a birthday outfit. <laughs> and she found this outfit that she likes so well and she's changing back into her clothes. And I said, wait a minute, Shirley, wait a minute. I want to try it on. She said, let me go out and get the outfit. And I come back into the dressing room and I put it on and I go, oh, it looks so nice. I'm going to get it too. So we're getting in the car and it occurs to me. I say, Surely, you know, you don't mind. I think it'll be so much fun. Drew won't be mad that we're dressed alike. And she just, um, it's a little late for that, chicky. <laughs> <laughs> it's just been so great getting to know Albert and having him be part of my life. And I thought I was doing it for him, but it has just enriched my life so much. My he has had someone consistently in his life that's not a family member, that I care about him for him. Not that we're related, not that we're part of the same neighborhood. It's because I want to be there with him. And I, I always him. feel, and I still feel this way, that the world changes and the world becomes a better place one person at a time. You know, this, it's not world hunger. It's not, you know, you start in your own backyard and you start with one person. And, and to me, that's the power of Compere. Uh, it, it takes people who need friends, puts them together with people who want to be a friend, and it's a very simple but amazingly powerful concept. I think that all of us, whether we're classified with mental illness or not, go through a lot of stressful times in our lives. And we all need somebody that we can talk to and that we can count on. And if we don't have that person, we get we have a lot of problems. We have a lot of sadness, a lot of depression. I mean, you know, it's everywhere. It's not just people who are labeled or classified with mental illness. We all need a friend. We all need someone who has compassion for us. We're not therapists. We're friends. And sometimes these kids or these adults may not have a friend that they need, that extra special friend that's just there for them. Um, a therapist isn't there for the good times or the bad times all the time. The therapist isn't there to um, pick them up or wipe off their knees or just take care of them and, and be their friend. Um, that's what Compere is for. What you would do with, your, with a friend is exactly what we do with Compere. There's mental illness in my family. There has been for several generations. And um, I wanted to volunteer to help people that had mental illness problems and learn more about it in the process because I really felt that mental illness, and still do, that it's the last closet illness of the 20th century. Nobody talks about it, everybody wants to pretend it's not there. Barbara feels down, when Barbara's down, I feel down, you know. We, we came, became pretty close after 15 years. We've become like sisters, you know, it's like calling up your sister every day and uh, asking her how she is and what's going on and what she's doing for the day. So we want to be able to position Compere to be accessible to the community so if a consumer knocks on my door or calls Compere and says, I would like a volunteer to work with me, get me out of the house, get me to a movie, we need to make that a reality. We need to make sure that that can happen. There's a direct correlation between how much money the Compere can raise and how many people, what effect we can have in the community. More funding means more staff, more advertising that can promote more awareness of Compere. It means, ultimately, more people that can be served. Right he now. said an adult male to look at that it's normal to go to work, pay bills, attend school, make choices, make, change your mind. 
You know, it's always a great feeling, you know, at the end of our visits when you drop her off and know how much that it's meant to her. So you go away, you know, knowing that that small investment of your time is a huge investment, you know, in her quality of life. And when I matched her up with her friend Dorothy, uh, she said it was the first friend that she had had in 30 years and that Dorothy was the best friend she ever had. Uh, she had her first boyfriend and uh, she was a little worried about things to do and, and things uh, that she talked about with her boyfriend, so we talked about that. And I myself got worried because I thought I was going to lose her friendship, that she would just want to hang out with him and not me anymore. But she told me, Linda, I love you, we'll always be hanging out, and it made me feel really great. And I knew then that no matter what comes up, we'll always be there for each other.